James Bell of the Boxing Source here with another video and this video here is to talk about the topic of the rematch between Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. for the Unified Heavyweight Championships. I uh, see that everything has been agreed in principle uh, for this match to take place on December 7th in Saudi Arabia, uh, but it seems like we've had like a little bit of uh, doubt that the fight would have taken place. Uh, we've had, you know, this thing that has been shared throughout social media in reference to a impending lawsuit that would have been uh, put in place by uh, Matchroom Boxing uh, towards Tom Brown promotions or TGB promotions uh, who was representing Andy Ruiz Jr. Uh, it would be, you know, basically to uh, put in a lawsuit if Andy Ruiz would not go forward with the rematch between him and Anthony Joshua. I guess they had like a certain deadline that they wanted to set to make sure that the fight was going to become official before going through the motions in order to set up the rematch and all of the details that come with it, you know, site, venue, um, booking fees, site fees, and all of that other technical stuff uh, that you have with uh, making a fight uh, happen. Uh, but, you know, seems like, you know, everything has basically been sorted out. That was a, you know, a minor scare, so to speak, that, you know, people have uh, released within the boxing airwaves in reference to uh, that lawsuit that was put down. It was, you know, put in place uh, yesterday or August 22nd uh, to be signed off uh, for, uh, you know, August 23rd. But since, you know, everything has basically become official, then there is nothing really to go forward with this uh, lawsuit that would have been put down uh, there. I guess it would be in the state of New York. So just a minor scare, but we still have it official. The Unified Heavyweight Championships on the line, WBA Super Championship, the IBF and the WBO, including the IBO Heavyweight Championship, Andy Ruiz Jr., Defending those titles against former unified champion Anthony Joshua December 7th in Saudi Arabia. So you're going to be on the lookout for that. Of course, there's going to be, you know, multiple things coming from this particular bout. Uh, of course, we had, you know, the whole thing with uh, Andy Ruiz Jr.'s trainer, Manny Robles, saying that Andy Ruiz isn't necessarily in uh, full shape and needs to get in the gym to get prepared for this rematch. Um, you know, Anthony Joshua has been saying a lot of stuff in uh, reference to that first fight and that he's, uh, you know, preparing for the rematch. Uh, Andy Ruiz Jr., you know, uh, living it up, uh, being the first Mexican heavyweight champion. Uh, but, you know, hopefully he'll be focus for this rematch because uh, some people are talking about you know him potentially being a Buster Douglas uh, here if he is not able to you know come through here in the rematch uh, basically being a uh, one and done as far as like a, a world heavyweight champion uh, there after scoring a big upset that took place at Madison Square Garden on June 1st so we'll see what happens uh, coming up here in the uh, next few days, weeks, and leading into the rematch in Saudi Arabia, December 7th. And, you know, that's basically what we have uh, here in reference to this particular topic. Be sure to subscribe to The Boxing Source on YouTube. And you can catch The Boxing Source radio show live on Blog Talk Radio Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Or you could subscribe to the podcast that is on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. And on that note, folks, I'm out. Peace.